I'm here to meet a math teacher named Talia. Her colleagues think she's great. Talia is, all she does is just like really absolutely oozes like love for the children. You know how they, um, in like interviews, you know, and they say like, what's your worst quality? And you're like, oh, I'm a perfectionist. That can be really exhausting because we're teaching, you can always do more. Yeah, you can do it that way, but we can also do it algebraically, right? We want to get X on its own. Hello. Hi. You must be Talia. Am I right? Miss Huri, you are right. <laughs> Miss Huri, of course you are. <laughs> yes. Our teacher didn't know what was going on because it was une unexpected. Oh my God, I'm so embarrassed. Yes. <laughs> and all of a sudden, he just knocks on the door and comes in. <laughs> and you thought it was just a day in the life, didn't yeah, you? Yeah, literally. It's a little bit more than that. We're going to do some learning. OK. <laughs> Do you want to learn solving equations with us? Ah. But at first, I don't know why, I thought he was Mr. Hegarty. Minus two? Yeah. Minus three? Yes. Don't just get out of your head. Don't just, so minus two? Minus three? And minus three is minus five. All right. Listen. Is he good at the maths? Uh, no. <laughs> he was using his brain and trying to just make up numbers. She was like, she was shocked and confused because she didn't know what was going on at the time. Two X plus three is equal to 11. She makes maths exciting. Yeah. yeah. Now we like the sound of that. Have a good day. Bye, thank you. When you don't deliver something that goes perfectly well or your lesson isn't brilliant, um, well, for me, it's really difficult. I find that really hard to not be delivering, delivering an outstanding lesson all the time. Would you call yourself a perfectionist? Of course, absolutely. It's, it's a quality that can bring unnecessary pressures. I've got some words here written by your colleagues. Oh, my gosh. You weren't expecting this, were you? No. Should we see what's on here? Oh, oh yeah. This is good. Talia is a phenomenal teacher. First and foremost, she has sky-high expectations. Talia is an extremely empathetic and caring person who puts the needs of others before her own. Talia is one of the most dedicated and effective teachers I have worked with. Talia's mission is to transform the lives of her pupils through a nurturing education. We are so lucky to have her here. Wow, that's really nice. I mean, that, that's all brilliant. But there is, there is some real choice words in there and phrases that you should be incredibly proud of, and also some that you should get inspiration from. Looking at the bigger picture is really important. Looking at your bigger picture is looking at the student over the whole academic year that you've got that student for, not just that one lesson. Do you, do you understand what I'm saying? Yeah. Perspective, basically. Perspective, it's a great word. I just say, take a couple of seconds just to assess the thing you're getting stressed about. How important is it in the overall scheme of your plan and what you're trying to achieve? The likelihood is it's minuscule and shouldn't take energy from you that you can use to achieve what you want to achieve. Yeah, I'm definitely going to try, right? You've got to try with these things and you might not be good at it the first time, but like the more and more you think like that, the more it becomes habit. So I'm definitely going to try. You're going to go for it? Yeah. <laughs> You're on. <laughs> it just took me by complete surprise, but I think the year eights were loving it and they were loving to tell him off. Thank you so Thank much. You. Have a good day. I was really shocked to hear those things in the book. Um, they were so, so sweet. It's been really nice to hear from someone with such amazing experience, uh, taking the time out of their day just to talk to me. The idea of having perspective is just so important. And I think the more you say it to yourself, the more it becomes like your norm and that that's what you're actually thinking. Um, 
And I think that's the main thing I'm going to take away from this is that, that importance to remember the end goal as opposed to getting stuck on the little day-to-day -day issues that maybe put pressure on me.